is finally happening. We're getting the Ultra Beast in the TCG. I can't wait. Oh, I really want to play TCG again. I just don't have the time like I used to. But anyways, guys, three Ultra Beasts got revealed. And my favorite one of the Ultra Beasts is actually in this set. And I can't wait. My second is definitely Feromosa, but... Oh, I'm going to save my favorite one for last. But let me tell you something. These things are kind of, um, they're strange. They're very strange, but it, it, it's to be expected. They're Ultra Beast. They're not from this world. Anyways, Niheligo GX, which is a psychic type with 180 HP. You know, pretty standard for GXs and EXs like this that are legendary. And yeah, but... An interesting thing here, it says basic, and in the red right there underneath the HP, it says Ultra Beast. I don't know what significance that has in the game, but, uh, yes. Anyways, that's an ability called Nilahistic Light. I hope I said that right, because for those of you guys who don't know, I do have, uh, well, let's, let me put it this way. According to my state, I am just barely under dyslexia so i have dyslexia but they don't want to say that i have it to not give me any benefits understandable have a nice day <laughs> i'm joking but uh well that part's not joking but you know what i mean anyways back to this uh, thing it has a uh, lock up for three psychic energies now one thing i noticed with these uh ultra beasts is that a lot of them are very expensive to do their things and I'm not saying that three psychic energies is expensive, but you know, the fact that it's three psychic energies. Lockup does 120 damage, and your opponent's active Pokemon can't retreat during their next turn. All right. Now let me get the other stuff out the way really quick. It's weak psychic and it has a retreat cost of two. Now for its GX attack, guys. Parasite GX for three psychic energies as well. Add the top two cards of your opponent's deck to their prize cards. Excuse me? I can give my opponent additional prize cards to make the game last longer? So they would have to get eight prize cards instead of six. If that's how it's going to work. If so, that is something I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Nihiligo, definitely one to watch out for. But let's go ahead and look at Buzzwool. Now, Buzzwool. A lot of people like Buzzwool. I'm not that big. I'm not too crazy about Buzzwool. But uh, 190 HP, a little stronger than the uh, Nihiligo, so you know, kind of cool. Uh, its first attack is Jet Punch. Now, this attack will be very familiar to you guys. So, for one fighting energy, it does 30 damage, and this attack does 30 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Who was that? That was Lander Starian form back in the day. Lander Starian form uh, EX. It's very cool. It's cool to see that attack come back. All right, for three fighting energy, Knuckle Impact for 160 damage. This Pokemon can't attack during your next turn. Boo. Uh, I, mean, I guess you know, because with a choice band, you can do 190. So it has the potential to knock out a few EX and GX Pokemon. Oh well. And now it's GX attack. For three fighting energies, absorption. All right. This attack does 40 damage times zero times each of your remaining prize cards. So if you actually have all six of your prize cards, that is 240 damage. With a choice band, that's 270. That is nice. Now, when I first initially read this card, I thought it said uh, both yours and your opponent. I was about to say, that's fucking busted. That is real busted, but it's not. So it's only just yours. I, I misread that. But it's weak to psychic and has a retreat of two, so not too bad. Now, on for the big boy. My favorite Ultra Beast out of all of them, which is Guzzlord GX. Now, if you're wondering why Guzzlord is my favorite, I don't even know. I just really like its design. I uh, just something about it that I really really like and it's it's ass like in the actual game it is not that great anyway that's 210 HP and that is great for a basic Pokemon because that thing is nice and fat for a basic really good uh, for the first attack 
eat sloppily for one dark energy discard the top five cards of your deck if any of those cards are energies attached them to this pokemon so it has a way of accelerating energy but it also kind of hurts you in the sense that you have to discard cards off your deck and you never know if you'll actually if you'll actually get the amount of energies uh the next attack though is for three dark and two Carlos energies, so five energies right off the back. Uh, a tyrannical hole. Yeah, I'm assuming that's what it's called. Tyrannical hole for 180 damage. That alone is a very good attack because with a choice band that is doing 210 and that is one shotting basic GXs and stage one GXs, so that's really nice. That's really good. But the energy cost, not too much, that's pretty bad. But for 180 damage, hey, I'll take it. And Gluttony GX for five dark energies, guys. Does 100 damage. If your opponent's Pokemon is knocked out by damage from this Pokemon, take two more prize cards. My boys, that is something right there. Uh, wasn't there, there was an, there was a Pokemon that was like this. I want to say Lugia. It was Lugia, right? That allowed you to take an additional prize card? I don't remember, I really don't remember, I'm so sorry. But, if you knock out a GX or EX Pokemon with this attack, you're taking four prize cards. What? Oh man, uh, the pattern that I'm seeing from these Ultra Beasts is not only do they require us for very specific energies but they almost all revolve around doing stuff with the prize cards and I think that's really cool it's a fun gimmick I don't see these cards being all that great probably besides Nihiligo but Nihiligo my thing is it has two retreat and if it had one it'd be a lot better but other than that uh, do I see them being played in like high tournament play maybe who knows I would like to see them, but uh, I don't see probably Gut, Buzzwool and, and the Hilligo as of right now. Anyways, that'll be it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I am so ecstatic that the Ultra Beasts are coming. Especially Guzzlord, since it's my favorite one. But anyways, guys. Dark.